get to math sessions with Mr. M. And today we are going to touch on grade 12. So I'm going to explain the concept on trigonometric functions or graphs. Now, there are three set of graphs, which is the sine, the cosine, and the tangent graph. Now, I'm going to explain because between sine and cosine, because these two have the same period. Now, we are going only to touch the introduction on them, not attending a question, but explaining the basic of it between sine and cosine, and then we, are, we can attend a question. Now, between sine, sine, you must know how it looks like. It looks like a roller coaster. That is your sine graph, right there, if we were to draw something like that. Now, a cosine is like a car. If it's in a graph, your cosine will look like that. So, we have a sine, which is like a roller coaster, and a cosine that is looking like a car. Now, if we were to explain or consider an equation between these two, let's say this is our sine, sine is equal to y, a sine, b, x minus p, plus q. And at cos y is equal to a cos b x minus p plus q. So we are explaining now the concept, only the concept of these two, because these are similar. And these two are on period of 360 degrees. They share the same period. Now we have the unknowns in these two equations, which basically look similar. Now, we have A, B, P, A, P, and Q. A, B, P, and Q. So, you must understand what is happening there. Before you can be able to plot out or identify what is happening in your given graph when it comes to exams. Now, at A, this point right here, any number that is there, that is called the amplitude of the graph. What is the amplitude? The amplitude is the difference between the maximum point, the turning point, the maximum turning point of the graph and the minimum turning point of the graph. Between this point right here that is too high and between this point here right here that is too low. So if this point is on positive two and the y-axis and this point is on negative two on the y-axis, basically the half the distance, in fact, that is your amplitude, is half the distance between the minimum, the maximum, and the minimum. So half the distance between two and two is two because when you add them you are going to get four so it's two so basically your amplitude will be half the distance of the minimum and the maximum so let us move along we have explained a let us go to b b now is the one that makes things easy for you to find and tell us what is the period of the graph because the period is calculated by period is equal to, because it's 360 degrees for both of these two graphs, is period 360 degrees divided by B, whichever number is there. So if at this right here, next to the angle, because this number, this coefficient, co coefficient is next to the degree. So if your coefficient right here is 2 at B, and you get 360 divided by 2, therefore the period is 180 degrees. If they ask you what is the period of the graph. Do you understand it now? Now, we have corrected A and we have corrected our B. Let us explain P. Now P, because it's right here, it's, at, it's, it's subtracting at X. Now, that is a horizontal shift of the graph. The moving of the graph on a horizontal plane. Now, Look at this graph. The graph is explained in this way, your P. If your P is greater than zero, which is when your P is positive, your graph is shifting to the left. If your P is less than zero, which your P1 is negative, your graph, it shifts to the right. Only the horizontal shift. Now, that is only P. And the Q is the shift also, but a vertical shift moving about the y-axis. The y-axis right here, that two and negative two. So when your Q, when your Q 
is greater than zero, your graph is shifted up. If your Q is less than zero, your graph is shifted down. Let's make an example. If your Q is given, they say Q, the graph is plus two, right here, at this point. So this graph will go down two times if your Q is positive two. Now, that positive, the sign it gives you that is going up. Positive, up. Negative, down. So a sign will always change there. Now, because it's positive two, this graph will go up twice. So that is the effects on the graph of A, B, P, and Q. That is what it does on the cosine and the sine graph. And that's all when it comes to the intro introduction and the concept of trig functions. And our, on our next video, we are going to attend a question. Stay tuned and follow that one. It's going to be nice. So that's all from me, Mr. M. Have a wonderful day and a great evening. God bless you. Bye-bye.